It is R.C. Rollins in the building. Here we go. Post fight recap. I did see it. I got to see it, but I was at a party as well. So you got to see it on a like on a tablet. Not bad. Not bad. I was expecting Billy Joe to run. I told you guys I couldn't see a KO. I went for the UD and I lost because Canelo broke the man's eye. Um orbital bone shattered it. Most likely Billy Joe's gonna retire, but He's not retiring because of the orbital bone. People think that because he broke it, that's it. You got to remember, Kilbrook has both. Daniel Dubois has this broken as well. And he already has a fight scheduled. Naoya Inoue got his. I believe it was as well broken as well. Or just a little bit shattered or something. But he got his on the fourth round. A little bit of broken. On the fourth round versus Donaire. And he actually finished and won the fight on the 12th round. So my four round. Anyways. I don't know what happened to Billy Joe. He didn't move around. He didn't fight the negative fight. He didn't fight on his back foot. And I loved it because he brought the fight to Canelo. He, it just made the fight more exciting. I honestly was expect, I was not looking forward to it because I'm like, oh, well, Billy Joe's going to be running. Not running. Don't get me wrong. I like that kind of fight, but... You always want to see an action pack at the end, especially when it's this type of calibers, when it's unification, when it's this and that, etc., etc. And to me, Billy Joe did not win nothing. He did not win a boxing fight. He didn't win a round. I think I had it 5 3. Canelo was very dominant. I, I, I remember if it was, I think it was 1, 2, 3, 4, and then 5, 6, 7 was to Billy Joe. And then A to Canelo. And of course, it ended right there. <sighs> I know it was Billy Joe who quit. It wasn't his coach. It wasn't throwing the towel. The His coach said on an interview, that's not what happened. He just said that, Billy, what's going on? What do you want to What do you wanna do? And he kept saying that he stayed quiet. And he's like, that wasn't the answer I was looking for. So I ended the fight. What does that mean to me? That Billy Joe quit, but he wanted to stay face by making his coach make him quit. He's a quitter. That's what he gets for talking shit to Daniel Dubois when Daniel Dubois took a knee when he got his orbital broken. He said, you're a quitter, this, this, and that. He's like, and this is what Billy Joe said. If I had my two eye sockets broken, my my orbital bones, if I had my nose swelled up or broken, if I had my jaw broken, if I had my teeth out, if I had brain damage, I would not stop the fight until I get knocked out or worse. On the eighth round. And he quits. That's what you get. Because what goes around, comes around. Karma is a biatch. But let's talk about Canelo. I'll say it once. I'll say it again. And I'll say it one more time. And I'll keep saying it and saying it and saying it. I don't see no one beating him in the 160 and 168. I don't care who he fights. It can be Boo Boo. It can be Charlito. It can be Benavides. It can be who's out there too. Caleb Plant. They will not be Canelo. You know, not because of the judges and all that. Because Charlo, Benavides, Caleb Plant, and um, Boo Boo can fight the negative fight. But I still can't see them winning. Now, Boo Boo called him out on his press conference. If you really want that fight, Boo Boo, let your bell go. Let the 160 belt go. Go to 168 and become his mandatory. That's the only way he's going to fight you. And if he says, no, because you haven't fought no one. Well, guess what? Yodrum didn't do shit. And he was his mandatory and he fought him. And that's when you can call him that it's a duck. But other than that, that's the only way, brother. That's the only way. You have to become his mandatory. So drop that belt. And by rules of the WBO, if you're a champion at 160 and you move up. Or any division, if you're a champion at WBO and you move up, you become the mandatory. There you go. That's the clue. Go for it. Go for it. Because the WBC already did their mandatory. I believe he has a WBO and he has a WBA. I don't know who's next out of those three. But if they're not gonna get the if they can't get the Caleb plan, he has to throw a mandatory and you know it's either gonna be the WBA or the WBO. You have a chance, brother. You have a chance. For Charlo, he hasn't fought shit. I don't give a shit about him. Benavides, 
Go fight Charlo. Go fight whatever you want. All the other fools, Triple G, all of them, just fight each other. That's why I can't talk shit to Canelo no more. Because Canelo's fighting the champions. Canelo's fighting everyone. What are you guys doing? Guys, boxing was about fighting the greats. Not fighting like, oh yeah, let me get an easy opponent. Come on, guys. Anyways. Canelo, masterclass. Canelo, powerful. Very strong. Again, for me, I wish that he would have moved up to 175 and chased a legacy fight. Because if it's too easy for 160 and 168, push yourself. Do what Lomachenko did. Look what happened. He pushed himself at a higher division and he lost. Because he was trying to chase greatness and he couldn't achieve greatness. Now, I'm not saying that I want to see him because he loses. I just feel like Bivol at 175 or Biterbiev at 175, they both are 50-50 fights. And that's more intriguing than a 60-40, than a 65-35, than a 70-30. Than a 75 25. You see what I mean? You can still give us great fights. But now you're going to be at a little bit of a disadvantage, which is better because that means that if you don't put a rehydration clause, if you don't put catch weights, if you don't do none of that, and you go to a bigger division, you're going to be recognized by the hardcore fans. And that's what you want at the end. Forget about the LDBC or the other guys, they don't care about you. But there's some hardcore fans that do still talk shit about you. Because of little stuff that you've done in the past. Now that you left Golden Boy. You're moving the right way. And hopefully you keep going that way. Canelo is the best at 160. Canelo is the best at 168. I don't see no one beating him. Billy Joe will probably retire for two years. Until he spends his 5 million. Oh and that's another thing. I said that he wouldn't retire because of this broken thing. He's not. He's going to retire because he has no passion for boxing. Guy has a lot of skills. But he has no passion. No passion whatsoever. And at five million, that gives him that gives him five million reasons to retire. So people, what you guys think about the fight? Do like, comment, subscribe. Swap!